Hey guys, it's Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder. In this video, I'm going to show you a brand new way to access your notifications right from your lock screen. We'll be using an app called SlideLock from Silverfinger Software. It's available for free on the Google Play Store. It's very iOS inspired, so if you've used an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you'll see some similarities. So when you first open up the app, you'll get a brief tutorial showing you how to use it. It's pretty simple. Um, basically all your notifications will show up right on your lock screen and you can swipe them to the left to dismiss it and to the right to view it in the app. If you forget which direction does what, uh, there's a little reminder cue at the bottom. So you see I'm swiping it to the right and uh, that'll view it in the app and swiping to the left will dismiss it. You can also swipe the whole page to the right to unlock your phone or to the left to access your camera. So let's head back to SlideLock and you'll see this pop up about the accessibility service. Basically it needs to be enabled for it to display your notifications to you. So we're gonna go to enable now and this will take you to your accessibility settings. You're going to scroll down under services, you'll find slide lock. And we're going to switch it on. So this is just a warning that tells you that the app can potentially collect certain data, but that pops up for any app that you try to enable here in the accessibility settings. Um, if you want some peace of mind, you can read what slide lock has to say for themselves. Basically, the only data that they're using is your status bar notifications, so they can relay them to your lock screen. So we're going to switch it on and then press OK for this pop-up and let's head back to slide lock. Uh, the main page is just a list of all your apps and you can pick and choose which ones you want notifications for. Uh, by default all of them are checked. So let's talk about some of the major settings. So you can just tap on your GS4's menu button, go to settings. So let's go to lock screen and here you can edit the time or date formats and you'll notice there are a bunch of grayed out features and these are available in the pro version under behavior you can edit the screen timeout uh, lock security uh, it doesn't have it built into the app yet uh, right now you can just use it in conjunction with your system lock screen but it is a heavily requested feature judging by the developer's XDA thread so we may or may not see it integrated in future updates. Clear banners on unlock if you have that checked it'll dismiss all the notifications once you unlock the screen. You can block the home or volume keys from being used and if you want to test out your lock screen after tweaking the settings you can do so here. Here in notifications you'll find some iOS inspired features. The banners setting will have your notifications show up in the form of banners just like iOS. Which you may find useful if you have a custom ROM or a third party launcher that keeps the status bar hidden for a cleaner look. Then you don't have to rely on the status bar for notifications. Another iOS feature is having the screen wake up when you get a notification. Here in sound, you can make it ring or vibrate on each notification. And if you have a Pebble smartwatch, you can set it up here in advanced settings. So if you like the app and you want to add some more functionality, you can support the developer by upgrading. There's a button to do so here at the bottom. Here are some of the features that are available in the Pro version. You can create a custom status bar. If you have KitKat, you can enable immersive mode. You can hide the status bar and you can change the wallpaper. With the free version, it'll just stick with whatever your default assigned wallpaper is. It's 273 to upgrade and that'll unlock all those locked features that you saw before. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, just a recap of all the features. So you get all your notifications right on your lock screen. You can slide to the left to access your camera. You can slide it to the right to unlock the phone. And for each individual notification, swipe left to dismiss it and swipe to the right to launch the actual app. 
So that's it for this video. Once again, the app is called SlideLock. You can get it on Google Play to spruce up your notifications. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.